Welcome to C Sharp for Beginner series. In this tutorial, I'll show you how you can build a simple Windows application that will be a simple Windows calculator. I hope you have reviewed my earlier tutorials. There are seven of them which cover installation, uh, running simple applications, understanding the programming constructs, arrays and classes. If not, please take a chance to uh, listen to those. The objective of this lesson is to build a simple calculator. This calculator will have two text boxes where you can enter numbers and then you can click on either the add button or the multiply button. In this case before taking the screenshot I clicked on the add button and that was the result of the addition. So that's the calculator you will be building. Start C Sharp 2010 Express, click on the new project and when this windows comes up select Windows Forms application. So that's a windows application that we will be building. The next screen you will see would look something like this. As soon as you click or as soon as you selected the Windows Forms application, a form or a window is given to you. Then you are going to be building your application around that form. That form or the window will become the main window of your application. You will need three objects. You will need a button object which is called a control in C sharp terminology. You would need a label and you would need a text box which is underneath here. So these are the three objects you would need to build this calculator application. Okay, so the form is go given to you. Now scroll down and find the text box first. So here is the text box. Click on the text box. Bring the mouse pointer over the form and draw the text box as big as you want. Go back and click on the text box again and draw the second text box. So here are the two text boxes we need. Then we need a button or we need two buttons. Here is button 1, here is uh, button 2 and then we will also need a label to display the results. So this is where the results would be displayed. Now click on button 1 once, don't double click on that, click on the button and find the properties window at the right bottom corner. If the window is not available go to the view and uh, bring up that window, uh, display that window and find the text property for that object that you have selected, in this case the button object and it says button 1 on top of that, change that to add. So now that's our add button. On the second button click on that and change it to multiply. So that's our multiply button. Then double click Double, now double click on the add button. What we are going to be doing is writing the code behind the add button, behind the click event of the add button. Okay, so double click on the add button and it gives you a predefined event procedure. Private void button one underscore click. This is the click event for the button object. So this is where your code for the button's click event goes. What we want to do here is to read the values from the text boxes, convert them to numbers, add them up and display the result. So let's start with declaring variables. So I'm going to declare three variables, a, b and c all of the type double and a will hold the value from the text field 1 and it is expected of the type double. and what we want to do is to read the text property of the text box. So that gives us the number from the first text box. I'm going to copy that statement, paste it in here and change that to B. So that's the value from the second text box. Once I get those values I add them up C equals A plus B and now C, the variable C contains my results and I'm going to display that in the label component and that label 1 is called, the label is called label 1. It also has a text property and in this case uh, 
I'm going to put the value of C after converting that to string. Okay, when you're done with it, uh, click on the start button and here is your calculator. Put in a couple of numbers and then click on the add button. That's the result of the addition 1.23 plus 4.5. Click on the multiply button. That doesn't work yet because we haven't programmed the multiply button yet. So let's quickly program the multiply button. You can imagine that the code that you need is going to look very similar. So I'm going to copy that code, go back to the form, double click on the multiply button, paste the code here and then change a plus b to a times b. Now we should have both the add and the multiply button working. Run the program. Here is your calculator. Put in a couple of numbers and add would give you 7.4. That's the result of the addition of those two numbers and the multiply would give you 13.65. So now we have a simple calculator uh, which can add and multiply numbers. You can very easily extend this application to do many more things. Maybe try building a mortgage calculator. Find out what's the formula that you need to compute the monthly payment. Uh, get the inputs from the user and you will be able to build a mortgage calculator. In case you weren't able to see the code that I wrote, here is the code. Hopefully you can see that one better. And again, here is the click event for the button one. Remember, you are not going to write that statement. That's go going to be given to you. You just write these uh, five lines of code within the click event of the button one. And then similarly, five other lines, which are very similar to the previous one, uh, under the button two click event. Okay, so we are done with the beginner C sharp tutorial. Please visit my website for more tutorials. There are tutorials on Java, Visual Basic, .NET, and PHP. And with registration, you get additional resources, exercises, and also their solutions.